All right, welcome back, friends and scoundrels. I'm Bran. And I'm Lynn. Because she's here too, even though she doesn't want to be. <laughs> and this is Weird Cat Gaming, and today we're going to take a look at the new, straight from Kickstarter, we just got this yesterday, uh, Call to Adventure Epic Origins. Yes. Yes. Um, so a couple things real quick. You'll have to forgive us. We're set up in the living room still because the basement's a project and it's going to take some time. Um, just realized that the fan should probably be turned off. She probably just hit the switch. Um, but with being in the living room, there is a football game going on and we're relatively close to the school and so that might come up even though it's 50 degrees in here we still got all the windows open so you're gonna might pick up some outside noises um this is also our first live stream so it's a little bit of a test for us anything else i should say no let's get into it why not um so for all the people who aren't here yet <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is El Boxio. He's our official box opening. As you can see, we've already opened. Da, 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 da. Somebody put the box on here upside down. You? I didn't. I may have. One hard right. Is that cards first? Sure. So, is this a single? That one, probably put it down here. That is the promo from Gen Con. So and that went into all the Kickstarter boxes, correct? Yes. And then this one is, what are these ones? Those are the Kickstarter exclusive. Uh, Some of the stretch goal stuff. Features. Just the stretch goal. Uh, those are just the exclusives because there's other stretch goals in the box. So, what do we got there? Necessary Evil. I got Occult, oh, Occult Secret. Blind Ambition. Some really nice art on these. I like that one. Just like the way that one looks. Call of the Wild. Uh, uh, word of honor. And leap of faith. Logan, you hear just birds or can you hear us too? Oh, hey, buddy. a little bit okay so let's get into this I like this before even opening it it looks kind of like a book some neat design yeah you're definitely gonna have to be on top telling me stuff for cat because I've got a big wooden bar in my way. <laughs> All right, so, magnet. Get in the center of the screen, guy. Act like you know what you're doing. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. These are different classes. Uh, those are the different uh, stats. So you've got like um, your strength, your dexterity, this is supposed to convert over to Dungeons and Dragons characters. So, probably don't want to open these, but story cards? Yes, for the campaign mode, the adversaries. Nice. So, there looks like there's six of these total. And I believe the campaign mode is new to this call to adventure, that the other ones didn't have it. I believe. Chapter 5. 
need to stop Jake. <laughs> I like that one. It's like a D20. <laughs> and then the boring final chapter. That makes me want to get there. <laughs> Are they all the same thickness? No. No. That final one's quite a bit. So we got main rules. Uh, obligatory advertisement. You must be player boards. Yes, player boards. A bit like cardboard or just like? Um, kind of like cardstock. Kind of just cardstock. Mm. Are they all the same? Mm. No, they're a little bit different. Up here in the corner, you've got shields and rope and a sword yeah. on this one. Oh. Lock picks. Oh, I like the lock picks. Where is it? Somewhere on there. And then what else do you got on there? What's at the bottom of these? Uh, at the bottom is... Slash, any color. Exterior, con, uh, How the, the runes work. Their point values and so, what they stand for. What they represent. Just to give a little background on this, this is supposed to be 5e compatible. Yes. So you've got your strength, dexterity. Should I go to the other camera? Maybe. Probably. Alright, so you got strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. And then what else do we got? Experience, draw a hero card. I don't know what any of this means at the moment. <laughs> No, we're not listening to it on YouTube. His phone might be picking it up. We're using it as a secondary camera. I have to check that. Keep going. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Guys, since we pulled it out already. Oh. Um, ability. Scan through the rule book real quick. Set up. Origin cards. Action stern turn. Um, let's see here. Got reading the runes. Facing a challenge. Ending a turn. Final adversary. Determining a winner. So this semi co op. Lost something. So this is a semi co op game? Yes. Oh, there's your score sheets right there. Semi co op. You play together to defeat the adversary, but. Most points at the end. Kind Who's of... going to get the most glory? Yeah. <laughs> um, got some, some kind of package here. These like gemstones. Looks like. Yeah, those are like uh, your points. Okay. One, one, two, because then the rule book here somewhere should be a reference thing. Cards, runes, experience tokens. So those are the experience tokens. This goes back in here. Keep my workspace clear. Um, and got my cards. So. I don't know if 
it's being sold yet. Mark, put it in uh, I don't want to mess with those too much. But the other Call to Adventures are the Stormlight Archive and the original one. So, I don't want to mess these up too much yet because I don't know exactly what they are. Those are feet cards. But, looks like you've got a series of repeating. We've got hero and anti-hero. The light colored ones are heroes, the dark colored ones are anti-heroes. Um... Make amends, start deal. Play this zero attempts to challenge, spend. Experience to add plus two to the attempt. Adversary gains an experience. Ray of hope. Channel divinity. Effects. Rage. Some of these. Uh, do you get these at different levels or? Do they cost different? You get these whenever the runes show the symbol here. Okay. The twist of fate rune. Then you get to draw an adversary or a hero feat based on where you are on this track. Oh. That's nifty. So that's pretty nice. It's got... Kind of nubbins here. Get that where you can see little nubs here that fit into these square pegs. Circles do fit in squares. <laughs> <laughs> and then some of your different runes. Yeah, it uses rune casting rather than dice. So those are all the same. This one's in that same spot, but it's different. Two different sides on that. And then, oh, there's the other side. Give them a toss. How do they toss? Uh, are the runes divided by class or anything? They or? are, yes. There's uh, three common ones and then three for each. Um, I mean, they don't quite roll like dice, but... That's something you gotta get used to doing. Yeah. Set of runes here. Oh, and the different, I think. the different figures are worth different point values. So, what style of game is this? I don't think we covered that yet. This is a kind of role playing, storytelling adventure game. It's essentially kind of like. Is it kind of uh, like One Deck Dungeon, but maybe a little bit more elaborate? Nah. It's kind of building your hero for Dungeons and Dragons. It's kind of building their background story through gaining cards and adventure and building up your stats. So it's a role playing storytelling game. What do you got there? Uh, the larger cards, I don't know exactly what they are. Ooh. 
their character cards and story cards. So. Those ones are character cards. And with the numbers are story cards for the different levels of your storytelling. your background and up there in the corner is your starting stats and then the ability that it gives you down at the bottom. Okay. And this is so these are the story. Subject I want. Is this like so on the story cards here you have, you show one without your hand in the way, or my hand, a choice. So you either join the Merchant's Guild, and this is how many runes you have to roll of the certain type listed here, or you choose to join the Thieves' Guild down here, and it adds plus one to the roll you have to do. And then the rewards are listed on it. Okay. Are you making a mess? Trying to. I'm good at that. So these are... So new to Epic Origins will be... You're off camera. Will be just... the uh, heritage and the classes. They didn't have heritage and class before. To help round out your character and be able to create a full Dungeons and Dragons character. So what's this one? It's an adversary. Okay. So we'll get that first. So then these look like their classes? Yes. And you put experience tokens on them in the amount at the bottom that it lists in order to yeah. use those abilities. I do really like the art on these, too. Nice. And then the stories. So what are these level 2 stories? Uh, it's advancement. You'll get 3 from level 1, and then you'll move on to level 2, and you'll gain 3 from there. The difference is so, there's feats, which so are... Much. These top ones, they're just feats. Okay. And you just gain them by having uh, the requirements on them. And, and then, then these are the adventures. Okay. Ooh, nice. Cure a werewolf or become a werewolf. Well, I know what you're picking. <laughs> I'm going to cure him and then become one, so that way there can be only one. <laughs> And then these ones are broken up a little bit differently, so I'm just going to kind of shuffle through them and we'll see what they look like. So it looks like we've got a couple subclasses. And then some choice things. And then some more. Oh, we got subclass and then uh, races, human, elf, construct, shadow dancer, some more subs, and turn from death, save an innocent, artificer, celebrity adventure, half orc, gnome. Narrow escape, noble sacrifice. So it kind of takes out a lot of the guesswork, if you will, right? Right. For um, building a character, in a way. And looks like that's it. I like this insert. 
It's pretty nice. Oh, I forgot to do that. Look at this. So this was adversary card that was just chilling. Just chilling with these level three story bits. So it's like you've got your background and that's kind of where you're starting and you build up experience through that. And then from there you choose a class, right? Yeah. You'll choose your class and um that kind of stuff. And you'll have your basic starting stuff. And then you'll choose on those those adventures as you play and those feats to build your character up. So you're building the background for your 5e character. Because they have on their website a PDF for converting the character you create in here into yeah. an actual playable 5e character nice. so you can keep playing the character you've created. There's also, they included some... 5e backgrounds that fit yeah. the story of this also. And it's got some of its own individual ones too, doesn't it? Or some different ones. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So that is Call to Adventure Epic, Epic Origins. Origins. Jinx. <laughs> um, anything else that we need to cover with that? I don't think so. We just unboxed it. We're going to do a how to play. Uh, sometime in the near future. Sometime in the near future. Where we're going to teach how to play it and play through it. Because, as you can tell, I don't have a whole lot of knowledge of it. So, <laughs> that'll be fun. This will be one of our more complex ones that we've done. We've got a whole bunch of those recorded already. The learning ones. Um, it's just... I don't necessarily know if we're off schedule getting it. We just scheduled poorly to get them going. <laughs> so we were supposed to have a bunch of stuff out already before we started doing live streaming. And God, we failed again. <laughs> we do that a lot. But we are going to get a teach and playthrough of this. And we'll probably show also converting it into a 5e uh, character as well. To okay. show how that works. Um, so what are your initial thoughts on this? Well, I'm excited to play. I've played the original Call to Adventure. Yeah. So I'm excited for this one with the extra heritage and stuff and actually making a D&D &D character to maybe run through a one-shot, if anything. This would be a really fun Session Zero. It is. It is like a really fun session zero. Yeah, go in there, cards. Because I don't want you to stay in there for now. Yeah, that's what we were kind of <laughs> hoping with this one. That's why we picked an easy thing to live stream so we can try and figure it out. Got to figure that sound out. I don't know why it's echoing. We only have one mic. It's uh, it's not going through the computer, is it? No, I've got the computer shut. The computer's a TV. It doesn't have a mic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just making sure. So, yeah. Um, Call to Adventure Epic Origins. You know all the normal social media stuff. That's down below. Or it will be once we... Yeah, Logan, maybe once we get our act together, we'll have a session zero and play this <laughs> and then have an actual campaign. Yeah, and once we get the basement done. <laughs> Again, that's turned into quite the project, so... Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, we want to support. Link for the eBay store is down below. Got some minis We're, up there right now. Uh, yeah, there's still four sets of minis that I am custom painting to a battle ready standard. So that way it's accessible to people and you can get it and get it to your table. Maybe I should focus a little bit more on some of that. But <laughs> we've also got the mini con coming up. So, yeah, all right. Um, I don't want to ramble on too much, or at least I'm being told not to. <laughs> so, till next time, live to roll.